Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. Time check, it's gonna be 12.58 p.m. in the afternoon here in the Philippines. So, great day to everyone, good evening to uh, others. Alright, now, what we're gonna be discussing today in this video would be the um, upgrades, alright? What unit or building should we be upgrading to, of course, get the most benefit, alright? Okay, so to start, uh, before we start, please do give this video a thumbs up, alright? And also, subscribe on my channel and turn on the notification to not miss, a, to not miss an upload or stream from my channel. Okay, so uh, to proceed to uh, what we're going to be discussing is that first things first, alright? What you need to do is unlock all buildings, alright? Buildings, units... Whichever it might be, it can be obtained through uh, campaign by going over the campaign missions. Regardless of the stars, like for example, uh, you know, like hard, normal difficulty, uh, regardless of that star or you only got one star, two star, three star, whichever, all right, you will be able to unlock that, all right? Okay, so... Um, we already got that cleared to unlock now for the super weapons uh, this uh, this one all right <clears throat> excuse me so this one you can unlock this all right uh, by doing 20 PvP missions all right 20 and 20 tournament battles all right and 20 red contracts you see this here this contract op open a lottery container 10 times. So once you completed a test like this, it's going to count as 1 out of 20. So you only have 19 red contracts to do. Okay. <clears throat> so going back, all right, to the uh, upgrade, I will highly advise for you to upgrade your supply depot. All right. As this is actually the backbone of your base. All right. Without this, you can't do anything all right without this you can't produce an army without this you can't produce defensive buildings uh etc okay so without this you're not going to be able to do anything so first things first is that you need to upgrade this resource planning service all right now this actually reduce all right the um the amount that has that will be deducted as you build supply depot okay and then this of course resource production plus 10 i already got this completed all right automated resource warehouse so you need this too to be maxed out by your rank always always all right now second is your hq okay so what we need here this one starting resources so that's going to be like the base warehouse Initial resource stocks plus 200. Oh, they actually increased it or decreased the level where it can be gained. So it's now going to be level rank 24. Back then it's rank 25. But yeah, moving forward. All right. You need this. All right. So that you can build more buildings, produce infantry to get those containers, upgrade your HQ to get the shipyard faster at the early stages of the game while you're in the uh, development stage or development phase. Next thing is that this reserve diesel uh, generator. All right, so this one will give you a uh, like for example two barracks. All right, so once the construction yard is done, you can straight up upgrade or no build two barracks at the same time without spending emergency measures boost. Uh, for you to get those barracks up since uh, you lack the power at the beginning all right so you get you can get this later on okay because uh normally at low ranks like rank uh rank three to uh to 15 14 i'm not sure all right rank 15 uh, 14 you can't have this maxed out all right you can't really max this so you can get this later on next up is this all right, as this will increase and help as you build HQ in the latter part of the game. All right, and also your uh, 
this will actually help you out in terms of increasing your resource all right resources so here's the end game what will what it will it uh what it will look like it's going to be like 150 re, uh energy that it can do or it can provide okay and at level one it can have as 60 all right so you can have as much as 60 power at level one when you have this upgraded to max all right so you can like skip the emergency measure upgrade okay so we got that covered next thing is let's see construction yard okay why of course when you got the construction yard this one construction management system when you got this one maxed out all right uh or upgraded you can like have 11 radius of construction per construction yard all right so that's very important since uh, it can cover a lot of area where you can expand build all right so you will be able to have less construction yard and that's like 300 resources also the view all right this also affects the view in which the building can actually uh, see all right so you can like build the barracks at the very edge of the view of this construction yard okay so once you got um you got this upgraded okay you can actually um, build at the very edge of the map to get the edge in terms of getting the containers okay all right next stop is uh, let's see barracks okay why now this one intensive training courses now this will actually reduce some seconds microseconds or seconds off of your infantry training at the very start all right, normally I use uh, a blue boost um, training infantry or infantry training rather. All right, to somehow speed up the process in which you can, you train your riflemen. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. So once you got this uh, um, upgraded, of course your riflemen will be trained much faster. Okay, mine is going to be like 11 or 12. Yeah, 11 or 12 with a blue boost. And without a boost, as you can see the time here, it's 13. Okay. So, that's actually uh, pretty much for... That's pretty much for the buildings. Alright, at the early stages, that's uh, those are the most important things that you should upgrade. Alright, oh, by the way, let me just add up sniper towers. Alright, so, at the early stages of the game, lower ranking uh, resistance always suffer from assault rushes. Alright? So to help you cover or, you know, wipe the floor with those assaults, upgrade your uh, sniper tower. And the last time I had, had this, uh, I had this upgraded was like two years ago. All right. As you can see, this sniper tower of mine is very effective against the in infantry, especially at the early stages. All right. Since uh, nobody can max out an assault to everything maxed out. All right. It can only be maxed out according to their rank, which has also, which also has a limitation. All right. So moving forward, um, this is going to be the rifleman. All right. So what you need to upgrade to get the speed, all right, this, the speed movement, speed measured in cells per minute, it's going to be the combat suit. All right, you don't really have to upgrade to up to 14 out of 15 to get this uh, speed. All right, you don't really need to do that. You will actually see it. All right, uh, let me give you an example. Okay. This, as you can see, if you upgrade this, you get the bonus benefit. Now, in this uh, case, for the porcu porcupine, all right, you'll get an HP bonus and increase in maneuverability. Okay, so that's a big factor. Now, in, in this uh, case, for the rifleman, only the speed will increase, all right? And then, which can be shown just below the HP, okay? So, upgrade this to get the HP and also make your rifleman tanky and 75 speed, all right, to get those containers faster. All right, so with a blue boost attack or infantry attack, you can uh, have a speed up to, so it's going to be like 7.5. So if we add that, it's going to be 82.5, all right? So 82.5 uh, uh, speed. And then the armor, of course, this is very important since uh, at the early stages of the game, you know, uh, resistance always suffer. Yes, they are fast, but they're like a jelly. 
you know, they, they die very quickly versus assaults who has like a grenade launcher on their weapon. Okay, so this one you need to upgrade also. Okay, a proper number would be uh, a number 16, 16 armor. All right, well, that's actually uh, good. All right, and if you would like to use this against or to at least help support from those assaults, then you can upgrade the rifle and the ammo as well as this. Now, if you would like to increase the view, all right, of your rifleman, you can just upgrade a combat helmet to get most of the view. More view equals the more you can actually spot a, uh, a container, all right? All right, so... Now, the next thing we need to discuss, all right, so those are the very basic things, all right? All right, so the next stop that you need to do <clears throat> depends on your gameplay, all right? So it literally depends on your game gameplay. Say, for example, if you're comfortable using infantry spam, like spamming those barracks and then spamming the infantry button, whichever sniper barracks or, no, sniper grenadiers, uh, Rifleman, whichever you name it, if ever you're com comfortable using those, then you should upgrade them. Only upgrade units according to your gameplay. All right, because that's where you're you will be benefiting the most. All right, and snipers are not bad. All right, at lower ranking, you can actually use a sniper with an armadillo. All right, which works best. All right, because. Uh, the armadillo will actually tank the assaults and be like a wall to shield the snipers. All right. The weakness would be a cyclone, flamethrower, hammer, or just plain out assault, hammer, cyclone. All right. So that's those are the counter. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, if you're looking for a vehicle, all right, I would suggest upgrading this coyote to at least uh, fifty percent. All right, fifty percent uh, would be a nice number for uh, lower ranking players. If they can like uh, max it, then that's that's actually great. And uh, also armadillo, I did. Yeah, so you can see here, the last time I upgraded this was way, way, way back. <laughs> it's like three years ago. All right. So yeah, my armadillos are weak compared to the others but of course i don't normally use it so that's why i no longer upgrade this and actually tuned into the jaguar porcupine as you can see i'm upgrading the porcupine right now to increase the damage of the guns or the machine guns so that's like the basic principle only upgrade units that you oftenly use to get the most benefit all right so just to give you a heads up on that all right so as you can see uh, these are my upgrades as well. Just I would just like to uh, tell you, I'm not really that buff in terms of upgrade, but yeah, since I'm like way late. Oh, by the way, most uh, people do ask about CP or command points. Here's how you can increase the army command and control system, which is uh, command points in short, CP. All right, CP. Um, so you upgrade this then you get more cp also one way to do it is upgrade your hq as you can see max cp all right level two max cp level three max cp level four max cp all right other way to do it would be for you to put in uh command points okay command points this will actually increase your cp all right yeah, this will actually increase the CP. As, as you can see, increase the number of CP by zero regardless of HQ level. So, for example, I had this by nine, then I'll have nine bonus command points. That's like a simple explanation to that. All right. So, um, that's going to be it for today. And if you've got anything else that you would like me to make a video on, please do a comment down below what are your thoughts into this video. And again, thank you for watching. Oh, but before we end this video, please do again subscribe, turn on the notification and like. Also, check the links down below. Other YouTubers like Beavza, Tesselhoff, and my moderators, uh, Webster, and my friend Menthol. All right, Shigeya Takada, Streamer, Bumblebee are also there. So better check them out as they have YouTube channels as well. All right, and also to have a look at the uh, Facebook page at Art of War 3 International page. All right, 
and that's going to be at Facebook. The link is in the description. Same thing with the Discord channel if you would like to join. Uh, go on ahead and do so. The link is in the description as well. Just click it and there you go. Alright, so again guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day and good luck with your battles. Bye now.